Hi guys! <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Kristen. Today is exciting because I'm taking a flight to Savannah. Well, it's not the flight's not to Savannah. Today I'm taking a flight to North Carolina and I'll be in Savannah later. I'm taking a flight to Myrtle Beach and then driving down with my friend Drew to Savannah, Georgia. And we're gonna be visiting SCAD tomorrow. I'm super freaking excited. I've never been to Savannah. It's gonna be awesome. Um, I'm planning to go to school there in the winter quarter, but I just wanna see it to make sure everything's okay and like I feel good about it. So Drew and I have planned out like our whole weekend and what we're doing and everything. So I'm excited. We're gonna get some breakfast in a few minutes and then head off to the airport. It's not a picture, it's a video. <laughs> what are you taking a picture of? It's not a picture, <laughs> it's a video. <laughs> Say something. Say something. She did. Cheese. Cheese? Why don't you take it of yourself? Hey guys, so I missed my flight. I can't believe I missed my flight. So we got at the airport at like 12.30. I go and I print out my boarding pass and then I go and I check my bag. My bag was good. They were like calling um, Myrtle Beach. And I was like, okay, like I'm Myrtle Beach. And then I put my bag on and then I went straight through TSA. And then TSA took forever. I guess they took like an hour. I don't know how long it was, but it took a really long time for no reason. My, basically my luggage is on the way to Myrtle Beach and I'm not. I think I missed my flight by like five to 10 minutes. Um, I thought I was gonna be able to board it, but apparently not. Now I'm trying to figure out the whole situation on how, I don't know. Basically I have a flight. I got my flight changed to tomorrow morning at 8.40 and let me see, I think I have it, I have it somewhere. I think this is it. My new boarding pass, yep. I won't get there till 10.36. We'll be in Myrtle Beach and then it takes like four hours to get to Savannah. So say 11, we leave the airport. 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. I'll probably miss all of SCAD day, oh my God. No way. Hi guys, it is 5 a.m. I just got done blow drying my hair. I'm about to go catch an early flight. I'm about to leave here in like 15 minutes. My flight's at 8.40, but it starts boarding at 7.30, so I'm trying to be there by six. No. <laughs> Not in my video. Let me We got food. Well, I got food. Well, we, he got some food. But nothing I comes mean, close to the end. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We got some Sonic. I was so worried about my freaking luggage the whole time. And then when I get to Myrtle Beach Airport, finally, it was delayed too. When I finally get there, um, I go right to the Spirit, like office thing where the baggage claim is and they had it right there i was like oh my god my bag that's it so i was so excited to freaking know that my bag is safe and everything's there and yes i'm so happy about that so i'm missing scad day getting gas I look good in that. That's good, save it. <laughs> You're like not in it, but I look good in that picture. Hey guys, we just got to the Airbnb and it's really nice and I'm going to show you around. I'm gonna take you on a little tour. Okay, let's go. All right, so you come in, there's this little picture, coat rack thing, you come in, there's a TV. There's some couches, this is the living room. Very pretty. 
a little dining room over here. Uh, and then we got the kitchen. Over here is like, there's like a little patio with a table and some chairs. We love that. This room is the garage. So this is the game room. The game room. So we got some games over here. Very fun. Pool it table. Like it smells like what? <laughs> it smells like a farm in here. It's like farm knobs. It has juice. This is the main bedroom. What's it called? The master. This is the master bedroom. This is where Drew's gonna sleep. We got this master bathroom. Very pretty. Toilet. Awesome. So this is one of the other bedrooms. This is the bathroom. So this is my bathroom. Okay, and then this is the bedroom I'm going to be staying in. Very cute. It has like a little makeup mirror that I'm definitely going to use. The bed's a little a little short, like short to the ground, but it, that's fine. Hello, I am getting ready. Tomorrow we're doing the SCAD story. Um, and then on Monday, we're doing a tour. So at least I still get to see the school because that's literally why I'm here. Right now I'm getting ready. We're both getting ready. I'm getting ready in my room and we are going to go out to dinner, possibly a bar, most likely a bar, bar, drinks and food. That's what we're gonna do. So I'm just doing my makeup right now. If you are going to SCAD or you go to SCAD, comment down below because I wanna be friends because I'm most likely going to go in the winter quarter. Let me introduce myself if you haven't seen my videos before. Hi, my name is Kristen. I'm 25 years old. I have a degree in photography associate's degree in photography and I like taking portraits. I don't really do photography that much anymore, but I am going to major in SCAD in social strategy and management because I love doing social media and making content. So yeah, yeah, if you go to SCAD or you're going to SCAD, let me know what you're gonna major in or what you major in. My grandma's texting me. Let me see what she said. Let me call her. I'm gonna call her right now. Hi. Hi. I'm at the Airbnb. I'm at the Airbnb. You got what? I'm at the Airbnb. You're at the college? No, I'm at the room that I'm at the place I'm staying at. Uh, when you go into the college. Oh, if you went to SCAD day, literally tell me how it was and everything because I wish I was there. I wish I went. I was supposed to go, obviously, because that's this video. But things happen. Um, but if you went, literally, let me know how it was. Tell me what you did. All right, so I am all ready. Drew is too. We are about to go out to eat we have no idea where we're going but we're gonna go somewhere so wish us luck we're out here in savannah for the first time at Stand night up. oh you brought your vlogging camera yeah he just wants to get drunk i want to just you might be eat. you might be driving home tonight uh, i'm doing that guys i walked down the <laughs> steep steps over there it was kind of crazy. Okay, I kind of like it here, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> We're at Wet Willy's. First time here, obviously. Pretty excited. I got a drink. Drew got a drink too. What, you wanna get a drink before the no, water? No, I think tomorrow what we're gonna do is, I think we're gonna Uber here. Look at our drinks. This is like cotton candy, and mine's like a pretty design. I don't know what this is, but like, it looks cool. I'm gonna try it for the first time on camera. I like that it like blurs out behind. Do you like it? It's really good. It's really good. <laughs> so, so good. We found the Scott Compass. 
Hey guys, so it is the next day. It is almost 12 p.m. Um, we're about to go out to breakfast. I forget where we're going. Wait, hold on. We're going to two cracked eggs. Hi guys, we are walking to breakfast. How you like it? I think it's beautiful. I think Same. it's a pretty It's very beautiful. beautiful place. We made it to two cracked eggs. Apparently they close at two, but they said there's a half an hour wait for inside, so we're sitting outside. Just got done with Scott's story. It was really good. We're going back to the park where we parked and I'm gonna get my jacket because it's a little chilly. And then we're gonna go have a drink drink. We're gonna go have a drinky drink. Chris, I want your flamingo. I want my pink flamingo. Flaming flingo. My flaming flamingo. I really want to go to Electric Moon because it has a slide and it looks really nice. So hopefully we get to go there. Hey guys, so I am back at my house now. My trip to Savannah was freaking awesome. I wanna recap the last day for you. So it was the SCAD tour. I didn't really get to film that much. So the last day I was there was on a Monday and we had a 9.30 a.m. tour. I think Drew and I were like the oldest students there, the oldest young adults there. Um, cause I'm 25, he's 24, and the other students look like they were still in high school. So, we were a few minutes late. I was scared that they were gonna leave before we got there, but we made it in time. Um, I was confused how to find the orientation, it's not orientation, the tour, um, spot that we had to go to. We parked, like, at the building that it was at, but we parked in, like, the back area, I guess. Yeah, it was, like, the back of the building, and then we thought we can go in that way, but we couldn't. Because it was, like, for, um, admission people. So we had to, like, walk all the way, all the way around to the front. The front of the tour area, there's, like these white steps like going up and then we go through that door it's locked so someone like has to open it for you um and they're like right there so i knocked um someone opened it and then i was like i'm here for the tour and i went in and they gave me like a little button i think i wore it the rest of the day and we went into this orientation or i keep calling it orientation it was like this big room where like there's this tv and this lady talks about scat and everything and we watch like videos and like it's about the school and like stuff like that then we started the tour they split us up in two groups since we were on bus two um there are two different buses that we went on so I literally thought we had to walk for the tour. I didn't know we were gonna be taken around on a bus. I thought we were gonna be like walking, but we took the SCAD bus and I was happy about that because it was air conditioned and it was pretty hot out at that time. They showed us um, a couple of the halls, like a couple of the buildings, two classrooms and what else? And they showed us a dorm or a residence hall, which was basically just the dorm of the residence hall, like the the entrance way and the dorm. The entrance way, I mean the lobby. And they, I forget which one we were in, but it was definitely, it was at the Hive. It was at the Hive and across from it, I think was Bumble, if I'm not mistaken. 
Yeah, so across from it was Bumble, and then, like, next to it was, like, Scad Fit. I was so happy to see the gym. I was like, oh my gosh, I love this. And I low-key, I'm gonna be a transfer, so I low-key wish that transfers can get, like, like, a little, like, area, like, the hive, but, like, for, like, transfers and upperclassmen, because... I'm gonna be a transfer. I'm gonna be like a sophomore, end of sophomore standing or whatever. I just really wish that we had something like that because it's like a little community and it's like so cute, like with all the little, all the buildings around the same area. But I mean, I wish I would have went when I was a freshman, when I was a freshman in college, like starting out there, but it's all good. I think the other dorms are just as nice most likely I didn't get to see them in person and I wish I did, but I'm most likely going to go to SCAD. I haven't paid my admission fee yet and it's like $500. I have it in my bank account. Like that's all I really have money for. I don't have the 500 for the dorm reservation. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I guess f take it from a loan or something, but I'll figure that out. Oh yeah, after the tour, I got to speak with my advisor and she was really nice and really helpful and she was great. And I'm happy that I got to speak to her. She answered all of my questions. I had like a, li like a list of questions on my notes on my phone and she answered like all of them. And I was like stressed out about like the portfolio and about the loans and everything. And she said, there's someone that can help me pick out pieces for the portfolio. And so I have that meeting actually tonight. <laughs> After the tour, we went to go eat at Collins Corner at Forsyth Park, and it was very nice. We had some brunch. After we had brunch, we went back to Drew's house, which was like about four hours away, I believe. And then we chilled a little bit at his house, and then we went out to dinner. We were really exhausted from the craziness of the weekend and Monday of the tour and like everything just being out and like doing stuff the whole freaking time. Oh, we went to this pizza place that was really cool. It was called the... Oh, it was called the Mellow Mushroom. Oh my god, I thought it was Groovy Mushroom for some reason. It's so pretty. It's so cute over there, Drew. Spot for you. We go into the to the Mellow Mushroom right now. Cool good pies and good vibes. So I think I'm gonna get it's called the Funky Q Chicken. It's basically what we had the other night at the um at the Electric Moon. I shredded mozzarella, barbecue chicken, cheddar cheese, caramel car caramelized onions, apple with smoked bacon, and a swirl of barbecue sauce. It sounds so freaking good. We're also gonna split um, a cop salad. So, you know how I'm in um, North Carolina? The people here are so nice, and I like it a lot. Like, I wish. What about Georgia? Georgia, yeah. You felt like they were, yeah. they were very, like, nice. Yeah. That waiter we had today, he was, like, so good. I know, I love it. Like, you find really good people, like, here. People have manners. Not, not like everybody, but like a good majority of the people. Like compared to up north, the way people are, it's, it's very different down here. Like I feel like in New Jersey, people are just doing their job and they don't like smile much. <laughs> here they actually smile at you. Yeah. So the pizza was good, but it wasn't what I expected, which is okay, I guess. But it was pretty good. The pizza was pretty good. It wasn't what I expected, but like, it was pretty good. It, it was kind of like, I mean, I compared it to Domino's, but Drew said it was better than Domino's. I personally really like Domino's. I guess it's all up for opinion, but that was really good. It's really pretty downtown Wilmington too. Let me know if you guys want to see any like packing for college videos and like how to move into a college dorm basically, like tips and everything kind of video because I will be doing that in January. Leave a comment down below if you're considering to go to SCAD or if you go to SCAD because that'd be freaking cool. Um, I want to say hi to you guys. And I will see you in my next video.